For God's sake, you got to give more power to the people. For God's sake, why don't you give more power to the people? There's some people that are starving to death. Ooh, oh yeah. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. You know what? Some of y'all, like me, may be new to this story, and there are some of y'all who probably know, especially y'all that live in the South. I'm up here in the Midwest. But I'll tell you what's very, was, was, um, was very mind-boggling to me, and it show you just how much we're connected, you know, with this craziness. And so now we are the... Sons and daughters and the great uh, granddaughters and great grandsons of the um, ancestors who in who captured us. Because a lot of people like to say, um, you know, they colonized us. Well, they captured us. They were thieves. So we're 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 we were captured, and the brainwashing. And the mindset uh, of the people that did what they did to us, our minds, body, and souls, they're going to have to pay for that. So that is something that don't even need to be um, debated, right? But what this is, is I didn't know that uh, Governor Kemp's family in Georgia, 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 now I kind of got a a better understanding why his ass did the things that he did and does the things that he do, does. It was Brian Kemp's ancestors that first brought enslaved Africans to Georgia. Wow, wow, wow. You know... I want to pull the cover off of all these people and then let them sit up in front of us like filthy rags. These people that judge us, these people that get to make the rules, these people who had never had to live up to the um, standard that they set before the whole damn world, they... Are afraid of their damn shadows. That's why they have to uh, weaponize everything. And then you sit up there and you figure they tell you to pull yourself up by your damn bootstraps. There's no race. There's no race problem. But here we are. The backdrop of this man's relatives is, and they claim the fame, is that they brought enslaved Africans to Georgia. Let's get into this story, family, because I want y'all to hear this. you know, had several such plantation houses. But that old cotton-picking wealth has transformed into a company Kemp calls Plantation Partners LLC, part of a portfolio of private forests. He'll cut down these trees for Coke Industries to turn it all into toilet paper. The governor values this little toilet paper farm at $2.2 million. He's got a lot of others. Kemp's family was once one of the largest plantation owners in Georgia. And here is one of their grand manor houses. He 
even the toys taught the children the difference between their happy lives and the lives of those they owned. But to find the original source of their wealth, you have to travel to the humid Savannah coast. Georgia's plantation system was created by the first governor of Georgia and Kemp's family, James Habersham. Habersham became one of the wealthiest men in the South by transforming agriculture. That is, he was first to import captured Africans into Georgia. Sales boomed, even when some of his products committed suicide or died of smallpox on the slaver's ships. This further let me know that this piece of shit um, really don't have a problem like none of them with um, voter suppression. Hell, he into human being suppression. So, you know, there's some white folk that was just poor white trash like, like uh, they thought they slaves was. Those are the ones they deputized and had them thinking that at least I'm white. Said, look, you ain't no better off than me. And at first they blew it. They, 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 was, they was fine with that because they understood that concept. And then when the elite gave them a few more butter biscuits than they gave <laughs> the rest of them, they started saying, well, at least I'm white. At least I'm wide. So when I look at um, this Governor Kemp, I'm sure he don't want you to know that his family brought the first enslaved Africans to Georgia. I'm sure he doesn't. Uh, that's not something that he wears proudly. But wear, dude. Wear it. Because, you know, I think the more we expose this kind of stuff, the more, you know, it should get y'all blood to boiling to the point that you don't got no business for asking for nothing. I mean, at this point in the game, we don't have any business asking for nothing. Dr. King said a man can't ride your back unless your back is bent. That means you fell for all they trinkets. That means you a whore. Now, I know I'm not talking about trying to deal with them and their weaponry. Okay? But all I am saying is that it's more than one way to skin a cat. And at some point, you're going to have to stand up. Because these people, look, when you look at how they are pressing the vote right now, for those that think that they vote is important and do believe in the spirit of America to vote, that's your right. But to know that these wazoos are out here trying to destroy that and taking it all the way back to the 50s or the 60s, I will say the 60s more so because they had a nerve to know they couldn't do it in the 50s. So it, it was when the Civil Rights Bill was passed. But it's very interesting to me that we always um, are over-policed um, and they want to make sure we don't have weapons and they want to make sure we don't have a right to vote. And a lot of people think that's by accident. And it's going to come a time where all good thinking John Brown's uh, loin, the, the people that fell off his loins, it's going to be time for them to, you know, also choose a line in the sand. Because this world is, 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 is getting worse. And when you feel like this dude, Brian Kemp, he's the last person that should be um, trying to keep 
this slave mentality master shit going. Anyway, the Hambershine's reward for bringing the slave system to Georgia, he was appointed acting governor under King George II. So Kemp can claim a governorly dynasty going back to nearly three centuries. His mother was quite proud of it. Her records and photo albums are priceless resources. But the current um, governor demurs. Let's be clear, Brian Kemp did not bring enslaved humans to Georgia, nor is he responsible for the horrors perpetrated by his long-dead ancestors. But he should feel some type of responsibility for kind of uh, righting their wrong. So if I come and steal all your damn uh, relatives' uh, shit and keep it, and once you find out that I got your stuff, I don't have to give it back. I mean, saying I'm sorry for what my fathers did, and, you know, they shouldn't have did that. That's one thing. But retribution is another. So that means, yeah, I'm glad you're sorry. You should be for all the stuff that you've done and all the things that has happened. And now you want to take the education out to schools. You want to burn the books. So you think your people are so fragile that they can't understand the truth and they can't stand on it. That's why this shit don't never get no better. Because you underestimate the human family. Your kids can take it. They can take truth. And then they can come out a better human being because of it. Because it can't go on like this. I mean, Kemp, who frantically avoids association with his dark origins, yeah, has gone so far to uh, enhance historical amnesia into law. This April, Kemp signed HB 1178, the so-called Parents' Rights, a Bill of Rights, and a companion bill that makes it damn difficult for any school teacher in the Peace State to teach uncensored history and keep their job. See, because of course we don't want the kids to know about your dirty lineage. See, this, the, 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 there's a word that says it, it's the truth that'll make you free. And once you stand on truth, you pick a side. And it gets difficult. It gets real lonely walking on this side of truth. Very lonely. But if you stand on it, then you got to stand on it. Ten toes down. Okay? But if you faking, we'll find that out too. Some of y'all don't, don't think that this is important. But this is all tied into your living right now today. And your baby's baby's living. This type of stuff here. Because if we don't. Um, recover. Some of the things that were taken from us. Land. Money. Inheritance. Inheritance. We're not going to make it. Because they already, try, and like I said, that's why they banned in the books. So you won't know any history. You won't know what the hell they did. And how dirty and how low down. It's the same script that B.B. Netanyahu was doing to the uh, 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 people in God. They just look a little different. He got they, his foot on their neck. And that's how the slave, they, they got to feel like they over somebody. So those are serious narcissists, serious Europeans. And then when you find out that, and I don't mean to just change the subject, but when we find out that Netanyahu ain't even no uh, Jew, he ain't, he's a Polish dude who was raised, what, Catholic or something? He ain't, he's a Polak. Excuse that reference for those that find that offensive. 
He's a Zionist. And <coughs> the same cold, callous destruction of human lives that he's doing to them <coughs> with no remorse. <coughs> As a European man. Is the same shit that the Western, this side of the West is doing to us. Okay? It's just that they, they put a different twist on theirs. They cooked it in a different pot. But the foot, the proverbial foot is still on your neck. It really is. And for me to even hear this, it's just, you know, it's, it's just a trip. That's why it makes it easy for this dude to ban the books. But my question for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation would be, is it divisive under the law to state the fact that Kemp's dynasty's power and privileges are also associated with human trafficking? Can we deal with that as a nation? Because the very crime that I'm, uh, uh, fact, and I'm sitting here today is it was a crime of omission and commission. It's a crime, and nobody want to take responsibility. But then you want my people to sit up there and we filling up the jails and prisons because we got to take responsibility for whatever it is that we did, whether we did it or not. You put us to death whether we have done and committed the uh, crimes you accuse us of or not. But here your wicked asses is sitting up here knowing you guilty of the uh, and of perpetrating all these manners of evil. And the best you can do instead of trying to work this stuff out is ban books. To dig deeper, stick your claws in deeper. Yep, that's what y'all going to do. And I have no faith in you. But I have faith in us. That one day the sleeping giant going to wake up. He going to wake up. And he going to stand erect. Like a, he, he going to stand elect, uh, erect, okay? And everything that's hanging on to his neck and back is going to fall off. And I do believe that. Ashe? Ashe. <laughs> okay, y'all. If you like what you hear, Please like my channel. Please, uh, if you don't do nothing else, just hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. And share the video. I, it really helps with the algorithms when you share the video. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for rocking with me. I thank you for listening. And God be with you. I'll see you in the next video.